The Dassault Rafale will form the cornerstone of French air power until well into the 21st century. The program began with the Rafale A technology demonstrator that was first flown on July 4, 1986. This established the basic aerodynamic design and evaluated the Delta Canard configuration, performance, FBW control system and composite base structure. The generic Rafale D, Discret, or Stealthy, prototype for the Army de L Air versions, is slightly smaller and lighter. The Rafale features some of the very latest avionics systems including RBE-2 multimode radar, the first in Europe with two-plane electronic scanning, advanced pilot's helmet with sight and display, Spectra countermeasure system and OSF, a jam-resistant passive optronic surveillance and imaging system with laser rangefinder. The Aeronaval will acquire the single-seat Rafale M interceptors and strike-slash-attack aircraft for operation from the carrier Charles de Gaulle. This is similar to land-based counterparts but features major reinforcement of the landing gear, plus a jumpstrap that allows automatic unstick rotation. The Aeronavals has a requirement for 86 aircraft, but procurement is likely to be limited to 60 aircraft initially. The Army de l'Air plans to acquire 82 single-seat Rafale CS and 132-seat Rafale CS. These will be designated as Rafale F and will be delivered in several standards, F1 optimized for the air-to-air -air role but lacking ASMP capability, OSF and Spectra, F2 with improved air-to-surface capability, including the Scalp Somme dispenser, and the definitive Rafale F3 with improved radar. The 2907 pounds T, 93.00 kN, M88-3 turbofan will become standard later in the program. Milestones were marked with the first flights of the prototype Rafale C in May 1991 and Rafale M in December 1991, and the Rafale B in April 1993. The Rafale M is the first operational Rafale variant, which entered service in 2001. The Army de l'Air received F-1 specification Rafales in 2002. The Rafale has been exported to Egypt and Qatar. Deliveries to India were planned to begin in 2020.